Good evening, Rook. Sorry for arriving before you and ordering a bottle for myself and opening it. <laughs> I never said I was a gentleman, but I will pull out your chair for you. Savor this moment. It is the only time I will ever make anything up to you. <sighs> you clean up nice. Had I known you were going to dress to kill, I would have changed clothes after work. <laughs> well, to be fair, my wardrobe is almost exclusively black suits. Keeps things simple. Appropriate for a nice dinner, a business meeting, a funeral, every occasion. No, I wouldn't say I attend many funerals. The last would have been... my father's. For everything else, there's a gift basket. What? Cold? Trust me, ask around the office a little bit, and I'm sure most would tell you that they'd prefer it if I didn't show up to anything. I found that my reputation began to improve when I started spending just a little more on the parties and stopped attending them. As it turns out, I am a bit of an acquired taste. Hmm. You're inquisitive. I like that. No. I do not often invite employees out to dinner. It's also rare for anyone I care to spend an evening with to decline my invitation. Unless I fired them after making the reservation. In which case, I suppose, I don't blame them. Though, frankly, the food here is pretty damn good and would be worth the awkward silence even if they chose to join me despite their employment status. <laughs> Honestly, I'd probably give him his job back if he had the balls to pull a stunt like that. But he's working on a cover letter. And you... are here. Why is that? Would you rather not be? Exactly. I've noticed that about you. You would say no if something made you uncomfortable. You see, I'm used to hearing yes. And I do like hearing yes. But it feels like people, be they employees or associates, think that just saying yes actually means yes. But... The truth often betrays them. You can tell when the confidence isn't there. When it's simply... appeasement. Again, I do like to be appeased. But not out of intimidation or... someone assuming they'll get ahead by not being a hindrance. I recognize how odd it is to be invited to dinner like this, by your boss, on a whim. I promise, I'm not trying to dodge your question. You asked why? Then I'll tell you. Because my little shit of a brother got under my skin, and I cope with my frustration in various ways. Sometimes, those ways aren't healthy. Other times, I just want to enjoy a meal with someone who intrigues me. That's it. I want to pretend to be normal for an hour and a half. Set aside all of my bullshit and act like everything is fine. Then... I'll say goodnight, 
send you on your way home, and I'll get back to work. I wouldn't say that's all I want, but tonight, it is all I need. Ugh. No, it's nothing important. <laughs> it's not my brother. He's sulking, seething. We've been through this song and dance plenty of times. He'll start sniffing around again in a week or two, but no phone calls. That's not a very common occurrence. I hope you'll appreciate that I trust you enough to say no when it comes to answering any more questions about the family. Hmm. I do think it takes trust to say no. More people would say no to me if they trusted that I wouldn't reprimand them for their disobedience. True enough, some people do like that. I don't have time for brats, whether they're my sibling or plaything or anything else. Too forward? Sorry. A glass of wine and I become ever so slightly worse at pretending I'm not a deviant. <coughs> what would Trish think? Now, it takes a lot to catch me off guard, but I did not expect that. Did you... did you speak with her? Oh, don't tell me she warned you about me. Oh. Oh. She asked you to be kind. No, it's not out of place. It's, it's very nice of her to look out for me. She's done that for quite some time now. She hasn't explicitly asked me not to tell anyone, but... What? No. no, 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 it's nothing like that. She was my nanny. <laughs> oh, goodness. No, I... That thought has never crossed my mind. She's been a part of the family for so long, and I really couldn't think of anyone else I'd rather have as my secretary. She knows me well and she saw today's altercation with my brother, so I'm sure she was worried about me in her own way. <laughs> uh, I did try to invite her. She just knows to keep her distance. Well, <laughs> if she thought that you should keep your distance, she would have said so. Lord knows that woman has intervened in my plans a time or two. So, if she thought you'd be alright serving as my distraction for this evening, I'd say you're in good hands. Yes. Distraction. I'm not trying to be romantic, I'm trying to be honest. Oh. Uh, oh, a joke. That's... That's funny. <laughs> oh, you think I'm awkward now. Good. We can keep it that way and order our food. Uh, wait. Wait, why is he calling me? No, no, it's... It's someone else. Someone who knows better. You know I'm off the clock. So, slow down.
Yeah, I heard you. Look, I'll call you when I'm back in the office. Well, it seems to me like you're lucky I answered in the first place. Relax. You'll hear from me soon. <sighs> Nothing I can't handle. Just work. Why, yes. I do have two phones. Listen, rookie. I do appreciate that inquisitive nature of yours. But keep in mind that knowing everything can spoil the fun. If you're going to start keeping tabs on me, don't tell me every little observation you make. I want you to keep me on edge. So, how about we order? 